at the BJP's President Jay Prakash Nadda. Nadda ji, welcome to the India Today South Conclave. This is the first time that you've ever come to a conclave after having become president and we are delighted to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us at the India Today Conclave South. Thank you Rahul ji. Really it's for the first time that I've come to India Today Conclave and uh, I really thank you for giving me an opportunity and I also thank you for giving me uh, an audience with such an illustrious audience and uh, gathering which I can see and uh, mm, yes uh, through your channel uh, I'll get an opportunity to communicate my ideas and the ideas of Bharatiya Janata Party to millions of your viewers. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Nadaji, I want to start by asking you about the significance of this round of assembly elections. Uh, 824 seats, about 18% of India's electorate. The large focus has so far been on West Bengal. But from the perspective of the Bharatiya Janata Party, how important are the southern states in your calculation? Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry. Do you see the BJP as a fringe player in this election in the south? Or do you see yourself as using this election as a stepping stone going forward? You see, we take every election uh, in an important way and we take it very seriously. This time we have got an opportunity to prove ourselves in the southern states and we want to avail this opportunity and that is why we are going in an aggressive manner on issues which are related to development and which is also related what has stopped the development in the south and how we can go forward under the dynamic leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji. All these issues we are going to uh, put forth before the people, before the electorate of the southern states. I find that uh, in this elections, uh, we are going to form the government in West Bengal, we will retain Assam and we will, uh, NDA will win uh, in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, we will form government in Puducherry and we will do good in uh, Kerala. This is what we feel. And we want to make this uh, election where issues are important and how the electorate uh, accepts these issues will be the important aspect on which uh, we will be strategizing. And uh, we take this election very in an important way, seriously. And we, uh, development is our agenda which we are going to put forth before the southern states. Tamil Nadu, as I said, again, NDA will form the government and Puducherry we are going to form the government this time. So we are currently in uh, Tamil Nadu and I want to spend some time talking to you about your party's prospects over here. You are in alliance with the AIA DMK. This time they are without uh, the towering personality of uh, JJ Lalita. There is also a lot of anti-incumbency. We saw in the Lok Sabha elections of uh, 2019 the DMK alliance got 39 seats, just one uh, seat they couldn't get. All the other Lok Sabha seats were won by uh, the DMK. How difficult does it put the BJP, how, how difficult does it make it for the BJP to try and win when you're on the side of a party which has so much anti-incumbency to deal with? Uh, Rahul, a uh, lot of uh, water has got, uh, passed through and uh, have, has flown. And since uh, 2019, uh, there's a sea change in uh, the politics of Tamil Nadu and uh, the image of NDA and how M NDA is coming up that I, I would like to share with you. If I talk about the schemes, I find that uh, the schemes uh, initiated by Prime Minister Modi has been successfully implemented by the Tamil Nadu government, the AIDMK government in Tamil Nadu. And, uh, I can see that uh, uh, at the grassroots level that development has taken place. If I talk about the management of pandemic, whatever facilities were provided by the government of India, that has been implemented and that has reached the last man in Tamil Nadu. If I talk about the vaccination, people talk about uh, Modi UC that the inoculation vaccination program has been successfully being implemented in Tamil Nadu. If I talk about the uh, schemes and the budget, in Modi 2, uh, first year approximately 1.5 lakh uh, 
crores were uh, allotted to Tamil Nadu and that has been spent again in the Modi 2 the second year we have uh, allocated uh, 2 lakh crores uh, for metro, for railways, for highways, for uh, uh, pharmaceutical hubs and for other development uh, uh, which are taking place in uh, for solar park in Tamil Nadu. All these developments are taking place in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. If I talk about the cultural identity, uh, Prime Minister Modi has seen that the cultural identity of uh, Tamil Nadu is uh, brought forward not only on the national forums but also on international forums. And here in Tamil Nadu also it was Modi ji who gave the permission for Jallikottu. If I talk about the Vetri Vale that has also uh, been accepted. Uh, 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 very much appreciated by the people of Tamil Nadu. So, if we are talking on the cultural side, the social side, the development side, a uh, lot of development ha is taking place in Tamil Nadu and the popularity of Modi ji is immense. So, we feel and there is no anti incumbency and there is no pro incumbency towards DMK. So, and if I talk about DMK, people have not forgotten the whole uh, uh, UPA government, the people have not go forgotten. When I talk about 2G, it means two generations of Maran family involved in corruption. If I talk about 3G, it is the Karunanidhi family which is has been involved for three generations in corruption. If I talk about 4G, it is Congress party which has been involved in corruption for four generations and people have not forgotten it and there is no pro incumbency for a DMK party and there is no anti incumbency against AI DMK. So, I am very optimistic about it and I feel that in coming times the election will be fought on issues and we are going to take these issues uh, very aggressively among the people and the Vetrivel issue if I talk about the, the, the presence of uh, Bhartiya Janata party person or a leader like Stalin who is an atheist. If he has to hold the Vetri veil, this means that uh, the issues raised by Bhartiya Janata Party has been well accepted by the people of Tamil Nadu and that is why he has to also succumb to the issues which have been raised by us. So, there is uh, a lot of water has flown after 2019 and uh, in 2021 elections we are going to form the government. Nandaji, the politics of the South, especially the politics of uh, Tamil Nadu, has largely been opposed to the idea of a domination by the Hindi speaking UP Walas, Bihar Walas, and your party is largely seen as a big champion of the Hindi language. Aap Hindi bolte hain, bade garv se bolte hain. Do you see this as a clash between? what the Tamil people aspire for their own identity, their own language vis-a-vis -vis the idea that the RSS and the BJP would like to foist on Tamil Nadu this idea of one India which speaks one language and is homogeneous uh, in its approach to politics and its view of the world. Rahulji here I would like to say that lot of misconception has been created in past uh, uh, just after independence. Uh, a uh, lot has been said about RSS, lot has been said about uh, the Bhatia Jansang and later about Bhatia Janta Party, which is not fa uh, uh, it is not the correct thing. The, the, the reality is that Bhatia Janta Party believes in federalism, Bhatia Janta Party believes in nationalism, but Bhatia Janta Party believes in regional aspirations and it is the Prime Minister Modi ji who has taken the literature of Tamil Nadu, the saints of Tamil Nadu and uh, the, uh, the culture of Tamil Nadu not only on international, uh, not only on national forum, but on international forum. So, the re regional identity has to be protected, the regional language has to be protected and if you see in this education, new education policy, the national education policy which came last year, what we have said that the medium of uh, instructions till 8th class will be regional. So, we have we, we consider that the regional language, regional culture has to be 
taken into consideration and our philosophy has been Rahul ji that uh, think globally act locally. So, when we act locally it is it is we it is Bharti Janta party which has uh, taken out an, uh, an issue like Vetri Vale and it is atheist like DMK and Stalin who had objected to it. So, we are the organization we are the political party who support the regional aspirations and there should be an assimilation between the national federal structure and the regional aspirations. I will uh, just try to explain you Rahul ji for first 20 years uh, after independence congress ruled Tamil Nadu and what happened that the regional aspirations were ignored and it was not only ignored the regional aspirations were suppressed and what happened that there was an upsurge and the regional party came into existence first DMK and later on it was there was a split the AI DMK and DMK came into existence. But Bharatiya Janta party believes that we will who, who protected Jali, Jali Katu? it was Prime Minister Modi who has taken care uh, about Vetrivel I have told you. So, we certainly are the political party where we want to protect the culture, the language the sentiments of the local regional people their aspirations and try to assimilate on the national front. So, uh, we are not uh, one language uh, party and domination of uh, north or domination of Hindi speaking no we respect and we respect in letter and spirit Rahul ji it is not uh, just a, a lip service which uh, congress has been doing for so many years we believe in it. And that is why we at least I have got uh, confidence in me and my party has the confidence that under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Modi, we will uh, make through Tamil Nadu also and in southern states. Now, Nataji, in the time that I have spent over the past few days talking to politicians in Tamil Nadu, the one sense that I pick up is that there is a perception here in Chennai and outside that the BJP is remote controlling the AIDMK, that you are dictating to Edapadi Palani Sami and Opanir Salvam how the AIDMK should act. Now, this is a strong perception here. As the BJP president, what do you have to say to counter this growing belief in Tamil Nadu's political circles that it is the big brother sitting in Delhi who is dictating to the regional leaders in Tamil Nadu what they should and should not do. No, we do not do that. Uh, that is not our style of functioning. Lot of misconception is being uh, is always there uh, by the opposition about us, but the fact is that we believe in democratic process. We respect the regional parties, we respect their decisions and we are not there who act as a big brother and try to uh, 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 dictate through remote control. No, we do not do it and it is for them it is their decision on all issues uh, uh, had it been so uh, uh, the the uh, when we come to uh, the uh, alliance and the number of seats uh, it is a very democratic process which we have adopted so had we had there been a remote control things would have been different no we don't believe in it we believe that we should be pragmatic we should be practical and we should in a democratic manner we should give everybody the freedom and it is their party they have to run the show. But yes uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu whatever happens uh, the DMK the opposition parties are to blame only Modi ji only central government this is not fair and this is not done. The, the fact of the matter is that we believe in the spirit letter and spirit of federalism and also we give the autonomy to the respective political parties. Nadaji, one of the questions that is being asked so often here is the question about Sasikala. Now, Chinamma came back from Bengaluru, there was a perception that she would be in active politics, now she is staying away. Then the BJP was trying to do a patch up between the EPS faction of the AIDMK, ensure that the AMMK and Sasikala also on the same ticket that did not happen. Are you disappointed with that? How do you view the Sasikala factor in this election? Have you been playing a role behind the scenes? No, Rahul ji, uh, it, it has been their internal matter and uh, it was uh, their decision. 
uh, people tried to approach us. I am very clear about it. But we said it is your internal matter. You have to take the call. You have to decide about it. And uh, uh, frankly speaking, it is their own decision. It is their political party's decision and it is Shashikala's decision. Uh, one thing only I can say that Shashikala ji has said that uh, she wants the golden rule of Amma. And that is what uh, AIDMK is also wanting to do. And uh, we are there to support that. So certainly what Shashikala wants, uh, that is being implemented by AIDMK. But uh, as I told you, that uh, people try to approach us. But no, we have said very clearly that uh, we don't interfere in any political parties. Uh, work. It is their lookout to see how they can work and how they can, uh, they have to take the decision. And this is not, uh, again I'll say, this is the factual situation. So we've spoken about uh, Tamil Nadu. I want to shift to Kerala because when the whole Shabri Mala protest and agitation happened, there was a moment when political observers felt that maybe the BJP will be able to do in Kerala what it was able to do in a state like West Bengal, come from the back and build a huge momentum. That didn't happen. Do you look at that as a missed opportunity? Where do you think the BJP faltered in Kerala at that time? And how do you see the BJP's role in the Kerala election, which is largely seen as a fight between the LDF on the one side and the UDF on the other? First of all, as far as the Shabrimala is concerned, uh, the stand of CPM has been dubious. The stand of Congress party, the UDF has been uh, very dubious. It is only Bharatiya Janata Party which has taken stand and it is uh, consistent in its stand. You see, in, we don't take such decisions only on, on, on the issue of how we are going to gain in politics or how it will be a political gain. We decide things on merit and we decide things on our uh, thinking process which the party has developed. And the thinking process is that to protect the cultural identity, the religious identity and to see to it that the heritage is uh, conserved. So keeping that factor in view, we have been consistent. Uh, we may get uh, the benefit uh, in elections, we may not get it. We may get benefit not in this election, in coming elections. But we want to put the record straight that we are the only consistent political party who has the intention to protect the cultural identity, the religious identity and not on for political gains but for the betterment of the people and for the spirit of uh, federalism, nationalism and uh, for the religious sentiments, that is what we uh, take care as far as the Shabri Mala is concerned. And of course, we have done good in the, uh, uh, the uh, local self-government elections. Uh, we have done good in panchayat elections. And in coming times, we will do good in, uh, in uh, uh, the, uh, the Vidhan Sabha elections also. I will just try to explain you, Rahulji. Oh, our vote share has increased from uh, 5 percent to 16 percent in Vidhan Sabha election and in Lok Sabha election it has increased to 19 percent. But the situation is that whenever in any seat we are, we come to a winning situation, there is a compromise between LDF and UDF and they try to see to it that whoever can defeat, they should, we should defeat BJP. That is what is happening. So it is not getting transferred in seats but this time I must assure you that we will be doing good. People are fed up with the left and the UDF. Both are involved in scams. Both are scamsters parties. One, one is uh, involved in gold uh, the scam, uh, sprinkler, sprinkler scam. Uh, the other is involved in uh, solar scam. So th both parties are involved in corruption. And people are fed up. They are looking for alternative. Yes, uh, uh, the, both the parties believe in appeasement. Ye tushti karan ki rajniti karte hain. Aur hum santushti karan ki rajniti karte hain. Tushti karan ki rajniti mein jaldi jawab aaj sakta hai. Lekin santushti karan mein final jawab aur permanent jawab aata hai. So, we are going, if that is the only way where we can 
protect the national aspirations, the regional aspirations and we can go uh, uh, with uh, the ideology of, uh, of uh, uh, development. I think uh, that we should go forward and as I said that we will do good in Kerala elections. Sir, do you think that Modi ji ka jadu dakshin bharat mein nahi chalta? Because if you take West India, lete hai, North East, lete hai, East, lete hai, North India, lete hai, especially the Hindi belt, there are all BJP hi BJP, but in Keral or Tamil Nadu, it seems that as soon as the southern peninsula starts, the BJP is going to stop there. No, it was going to stop, but now it is not. Now we are going to increase. You see, there are by-elections in Telangana. We have won Dubaka seat. Above Dubaka seat, it is the Chandrasekhar seat. On the right hand side, it is the uh, Chandrasekhar's uh, son-in-law seat. On the, uh, 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 on the uh, southern side, uh, it is the uh, Chandrasekhar's son seat. And we have won Dubaka seat. We have won, we have done very good in Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. We have been doing good in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Karnataka. And in coming times, we will do good in Kerala also. And uh, Puducherry is going to be, uh, we are going to form the government. So, we are, there is going to be a change. And this time, we are going to break it in South also. No, but in Kerala, there's been a constant LDF to UDF uh, cycle that may break in this election. But even then, the fight is largely between the left and the Congress. What is the alternate vision, uh, Nandaji, that the BJP offers to the voters of Kerala why is it that you believe voters in Kerala should perceive you as a genuine alternate to this cycle between the LDF and the UDF? First of all, development. Number two, no appeasement, but development of all. And people are fed up with uh, appeasement. There is a, a, a communal feeling which has come up that this party is supporting this community, this party is supporting this community and this uh, religious sect. And it is only the Modi mantra, Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas. And ultimately, people are looking for alternative. We have to be, go through, go, uh, go forward in an aggressive manner and try to explain the people in the, uh, in the right perspective. And we are going to get results. That is what I feel. I, I want to come now to Puducherry. Now, one of the criticisms of the BJP has been that jahan aapki seedhe raste se sarkar nahi banti aap back door se bana lete ho now you were nowhere in the picture yet your party is alleged to have worked behind the scenes to break the congress uh, like you did in karnataka before that in madhya pradesh so if you don't win fairly which you do often you are also not averse to uh, trying to win by crook and finding some back door way of being able to weaken your opponents how do you respond to this rahul ji uh, when we are defeated we accept the defeat when there is something wrong in our party, we accept it. But it is this Congress who has never accepted the reality of the situation. A bad craftsman always blames his tools. And that is what Congress party has been doing. And uh, uh, Narayan Swami is also doing it. It is the Congress people who have defected. It is for him to take care of them. Who asked, who, who, it was, whose responsibility was it? And whenever your, there is a problem in your party, BJP has done it. What is this? This is ab absolutely wrong. And they are not able to handle their own affairs. Uh, there, there was discontentment in the party. There is discontentment among the people in Puducherry. They were fed up with the corruption of Narayan Swami government. And there was no development taking place. I, uh, there was a public rally. Uh, of Prime Minister Modi and the turnout said was, was, has given the signal that people want change there. So we have to understand and when you are not performing, you blame the others. This is not fair to us and I feel that it is because until date, uh, there is no realization. You see, realization is the first step of uh, 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 making your ideology or your party victorious. But when you are not realizing Rahulji, what can uh, the other party do? And what can BJP do? For everything you blame BJP, this is not fair. And it is their own responsibility, their own handling of affairs, which has led to 
the uh, their friends have deserted them because of that so we are at the india today conclave south uh, but i also uh, want to ask you a few questions about the big battle in west bengal which is the most hard fought bloody brutal battle that we are seeing in this round of assembly elections now recently uh, west bengal chief minister mamta banerjee's cavalcade had an accident uh, she's she, you know she's hurt her leg there were very dramatic pictures of her wrapped around uh, with you know a, 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 a protective covering on her leg she's now supposed to be campaigning in a wheelchair and the sense is ki isse mamta banerji ko kafi sympathy mil jayegi aur ho sakta hai ki bjp ke liye ab bangal pehle se thoda mushkil ho gaya because she is saying main bangal ki beti hu aur mujh pe ye dekho attack ho gaya uh, first of all uh, i wish uh, for a speedy recovery of uh, madam mamta banerji and uh, the west bengal chief minister she sh uh, god should see to it that uh, god, uh, god should help her for a speedy recovery as far as uh, the incident is concerned the election commission is yet to give its report but i find that there is a a, a deviation in the statement of mamta ji what she gave after the incident and what she gave yesterday that itself speaks volumes about the incident and you see uh, sachai kabhi chupti nahi hai aur bangal ke log are very very uh, politically uh, active also and politically alert also they understand things so of course mamta ji ne ye koshish karni hai tmc ne koshish karni hai that they should do but uh, people of bengal are uh, uh, very uh, what i'll say uh alert on issues related to politics so uh, they are going to react accordingly and they are not going to there will be no sympathy wave that way the opinion polls that have come nada ji over the last few weeks seem to suggest that the tmc still retains an edge in west bengal while the bjp is doing way better than it did in the last elections uh including in the lok sabha elections you are still not able to bridge the last 3 to 5% gap how confident are you that between now and the first phase of polling and going up till the last phase of polling you will be able to bridge this 3 to 5% gap which multiple different opinion polls are currently capturing in west bengal rahul ji you have used the word still still they are 3% above and still the election and polling is to take place i am confident that this time mamta ji is going to be defeated people are waiting to uh, for the opportunity and they are waiting for a free and fair elections and i am confident that they are going to reject tola baji they are going to reject pc bhaipo they are going to reject uh, the katmani culture they are going to reject the appeasement policy and they are going to reject the criminalization of politics and the befitting reply west bengal people are giving going to give to tmc i want to ask a few personal questions now you were made bjp president at a time when former bjp president uh, amit shah went and joined the home ministry his term as bjp president got over now that is like having to become captain of the indian team after virat kohli or after sunil gavaskar or after sachin tendulkar how difficult was it to go in and try and fill such big shoes and having to do the same job that amit shah ji did before you were you always concerned about being judged by people within and without that nadda ji to ye kar rahe hain lekin isi situation mein amit shah kya karte you see uh Uh, this problem comes only when in your thinking you think in terms of i i think in terms of we when i talk about bhartiya janata party i don't talk about i i talk about uh, 18 crore bjp members a galaxy of leaders and we be i believe in uh, co uh, what i uh, always say is that uh, collective leadership under the dynamic leadership of prime minister modi so we are all collectively going forward 
uh, where you have taken the example of Virat Kohli, you have taken the example of uh, Indian cricket. I, what I say, I will give you the example of uh, uh, sports only. Becoming a captain of a team does not change your placement in the, in the game. Supposing if you are a middle order batsman and you become a captain, you don't start becoming, you don't take the opportunity of becoming the opening batsman. Supposing in a football, you are a full back and you become the captain. So, you don't become a centre forward player. The same way, here also, JP Nadda has got his own style of functioning and it is a functioning where we take con the views of our every important leader and collectively we go forward. So, I do not feel that because uh, 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 the captain has changed, the style of functioning of Bharati Janata Party is going to change. We are working in continuity and it is an addition that I have got an addition of uh, uh, Nitin Gadkari, I have got an addition of uh, Rajna Singh Ji, I have got an addition of a centre forward player like Amit Shah. And uh, I take everybody into consideration, uh, so I feel more strengthened. So it's a, it's a, it's a, the Bharatiya Janata Party shoe which I am filling, and uh, uh, all together we are we are a strength to reckon with. So I don't feel uh, that anything is going to go the other way around because uh, uh, it adds to the strength. And as a captain, I am a person who take everybody along, and so uh, under the. Uh, dynamic leadership of uh, Prime Minister Modi ji, uh, who is not only acclaimed uh, nationwide but internationally also. It is an opportunity for us to work under his guidance and to see and build up the party and that we do. Nataji, as we conclude, what is your sense of the state of the opposition in the country? Do you feel your task is slightly easier because of how weak the opposition is? Uh, if you had a more formidable opposition, would then Indian politics have looked different in your view and we saw Rahul Gandhi for example in Kerala recently swimming with the fishermen, jumping in, you know, in, in those images that came out, you can see he has six pack washboard abs. Uh, how do you see Rahul Gandhi's politics because very often I see you are tweeting very aggressively against him and people, and people in the Congress say if he is so useless and so inconsequential, why is Nadaji and the entire BJP trying to take him on so often? You see, there has been no tweet against Rahul Gandhi on a personal issue. It has been always on the political issue which I have been tweeting. And I have been tweeting because uh, in Congress party, the, the projection is always uh, of Rahul Gandhi. Even your media also or every, everybody takes him accordingly. So, it becomes our primary responsibility to respond. And I want a credible opposition. That is what I want. But if I do not get, what can I do? It is for them to take care, it is for them to take the call, it is not for me to take the call. But yes, we believe in politics which has got content, politics which is for the nation, politics which is for the people, politics for becoming an instrument of change for the common man and for that we are working. Nadaji. This is the first time we have had an opportunity to interact with you uh, in a conclave setting. It took us a great amount of persuasion to convince you to join us and I am very glad that you did. I want to thank you on behalf of the entire team of the India Today group. We want to thank you for having joined us at the India Today conclave south. You have a big battle in Tamil Nadu, you got a big battle in Kerala and then the biggest of all battles in uh, West Bengal apart from what is happening in Puducherry and Assam. So, you have spoken about your vision for these elections and your party's roadmap in the south. Thank you so much for joining us at the India Today Conclave South. BJP President JP Nadda. Rahul ji, uh, I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak on the issues related to south. It was your, uh, your uh, uh, you uh, really requested and uh, I accepted the invitation. I really thank you for giving me this opportunity and giving me this opportunity to address such an illustrious uh, uh, gathering and uh, through them and through the channel uh, addressing the issues related to south uh, to your millions of viewers. I really thank you Rahulji for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for joining us. Jai Prakash Nada. Thank you very much.